Welcome to Flourishing Five. My name is Heather Lawton and every Friday I share a story, a lesson, or a quick idea with the goal of helping you gain a new perspective. Could you please leave a comment, share, subscribe, review, all of those things, I would really appreciate it. So the premise of the podcast has always been about me sharing the books that I have been reading. And this year is no different. I've read a ton of really compelling books the first half of this year, but I wanted to talk today specifically about John Acuff's recent book that he released called Soundtracks. Now, if you're not familiar with John Acuff, I highly recommend you look him up, follow him on social media, All of his books, all of them, have been excellent. They are quick, easy reads. They are funny. He's very funny. And they are very, very impactful. I read this book in less than two days and learned so much from it. The subtitle is The Surprising Solution to Overthinking. So would you consider yourself an overthinker? I believe that most of us are, but I wanted to share with you I am navigating to the very first chapter. It's called, I think I can do this. And when I read this, I, I I guess it was the beginning of, I can't put this book down until I'm done because I related to this so much. He says, did I want to have 1,345 thoughts about whether there would be adequate parking at the new restaurant we were going to? Did I want to donate an afternoon of brain space to reviewing something dumb I said to a friend three months ago at the grocery store? Did I want to put off asking for a raise for one more month, overthinking the myriad of ways it could go wrong? And I laughed at that because the the thousands of things about whether or not there would be adequate parking, it reminds me of when Craig and I first got married, we started a tradition of getting purchasing a live Christmas tree the day after Thanksgiving. We would go to our local Christmas tree farm and pick the perfect tree, right? And we've done that every year since. And it's so fun. I love it so much. I'm a big fan of tradition. But every single year, as we were driving to the Christmas tree farm, we would see cars coming down the road in the opposite direction, leaving with trees tied to their roof, right? And every year I would think to myself, Oh man, I hope we, I hope we can, I hope we can park in a good spot. I hope we can get a tree. What if there's no tree left, trees left, there's not going to be a good tree for us. We're going to get an ugly tree. I mean, the most, there are a million Christmas trees. And if that tree farm didn't have the perfect tree, then certainly we could go somewhere else. Yet every year, every for, okay, this is embarrassing now that I'm saying it out loud every year for, oh, I don't know, 20 years, two decades. I had these thoughts, which are obviously based in lack and scarcity and overthinking something that does not need to be (laughs) overthought. There were always enough Christmas trees. So anyway, when I read that, I thought, I've got to get through this book because I clearly need help with this. He says, we're magnets for information and experiences that confirm the things we already think about ourselves and the world. His point there is you, but okay, so soundtracks are all about your thinking and the, what you're telling yourself over and over. That's your soundtrack, what you're telling yourself. And if you are telling yourself something negative over and over, you are going to magnet, magnetize yourself to attract it, which means everything becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. So this is pretty serious. You should really take these thoughts captive and turn them around, or at least that's what I'm trying to do. But the, okay, <laughs> all of that to say, none of that was exactly the point of this episode. This, this is the point. We act as if whatever is happening to us or the thought we are overthinking, we act as if it's permanent and that this is how it is forever. I was talking with a photographer friend yesterday and she had a couple of really bad days just in life and business, just struggling, right? Feeling overwhelmed with everything she has to manage. She's a very, very popular, successful, busy photographer, good problems, but obviously it can be overwhelming. And she said to me, you know, I was thinking to myself the other day, should I just quit? I should just quit photography. And I said, okay, so how many you know, bad days, would you say you had a couple like, and maybe one was really bad. And she said, yeah, it was, I was really struggling. And I said, and that means you should quit. One bad day means you should quit. And she started to laugh because she recognized the flaw in that logic. We act as if it's permanent. Okay. He says in the book, 
I have to be very cautious about taking a thing that I'm experiencing in the moment and then making it the permanent thing. Our brains do that, but it's not the new normal. You're just having a crappy day. (laughs) Is it possible that whatever you're going through right now that you're struggling with is temporary? Yeah, it's possible because it 100% is everything is always temporary. Nothing very good or very bad lasts for very long. So why do you take this one crappy day? Could you just ask yourself maybe, am I just having a crappy day? Do I need to just get through this day and tomorrow is a new day and it will be better? Well, tomorrow might not be better, but the next day might be, or the next day, or maybe next month. Maybe you're in a season right now that's really challenging, but I promise you it is temporary. Uh, A friend of mine recently gave me a word for this and I heard him say it and I was like, ah, that's what I am. I wonder, are you a uniformitarian? I love that. I am absolutely a uniformitarian, which means that when something happens to me, I act as if it's permanent. It's going to be this way forever. And the truth is it's not, it's probably just a crappy day. So The conversation with my friend yesterday, we worked through it. I gave her some ideas on reframing the situation. You just had a crappy day. Tomorrow will be different. It's not this way forever. And I just wonder if you could apply that into your own life or whatever you're struggling with right now. Are you a uniformitarian? Are you overthinking absolutely everything? I feel that this book by John Acuff, Soundtracks, is a must read. I know, I know. I say that about everything. Okay. No, I don't. That's not true. I say that about a few books, but this is one of them. It's funny. It's quick. It's easy. You are most likely overthinking. I've not met a person yet who doesn't really overthink. And some people struggle with it a little bit more than others. Did you listen a couple of episodes ago when I was talking about my mom and the eggs? My mom is a classic overthinker. And, um, I think she, I believe she passed that on to me. So I come by it honestly, but I look back at the Christmas tree scenario and I think, what is that based in like such a lack mindset scarcity? There will be enough Christmas trees. You will have a better day and things will turn around. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next episode.